Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about how to create files and folders in our PHP file editor. Alright, so if you're following along from our previous videos, you'll know we have code that allows us to edit and save files. And if I just go ahead and clone this on my new computer, immediately I can see that there are issues. I was really tempted not to make this video and just end it here, but I remembered that there were two whole people that wanted to, to see this happen. So Jared and Muhammad, this is for you. To fix that HD access issue, we're just going to delete that file and now it is no longer forbidden. And then what we can go ahead and do is fix some of the other issues. First of all, I noticed that this path was relative to my old computer. And I want to make it so that it will just basically start you off at the file editor directory. And that's exactly what this does, but it does cause some issues where the back button doesn't really work anymore. So to fix that, you're going to want to go to dir.php and just make this path an absolute path. And to do that, we're going to use the real path function in PHP. We then want to also replace all of the backslashes with forward slashes because some computers, like Windows computers, will use backslashes which we don't want. After that, everything will be as expected. So now we can go ahead and also fix this outdated keystroke system that we are using. Uh, we are using the key code, which is now deprecated, so we're just going to switch that to be event.code. And also, I'm using a Mac now, and I want to be able to support Mac pressing the command button in order to save, so we're just going to change this to event.metakey so that we can also use our command key to save. And so now all of that should work perfectly fine. We can go ahead and actually make our button. So we'll just hop over to the HTML real quick and create that button. We also wanted to have an on click of new file. That'll be the function that we create. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to prompt the user for a file name. And we'll just use the built in prompt function in JavaScript to ask the user to enter a file slash folder name. Once we have the file name, we need to actually post this and basically send it to our PHP file. If you remember before, we have this post function. This will send a post request to a PHP file, so we'll go ahead and put in the name of the PHP file that we're going to create in a second. And we want to pass in our file name and also the directory that the user is looking at. If you remember from previous videos, that's what this dir variable represents. Finally, we need to specify a callback which will take in all of the data that was returned from the PHP file. And if that data is true, everything went well. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and log all that data to the console. Now, if things worked, we want to also update the file explorer on the left side. So we'll just go ahead and call open folder on the di current directory. And that will actually just update those contents. So now let's go ahead and create that new PHP file and start working on that. Okay, so we'll just get everything set up here, and then the first thing we want to do is actually grab those variables that the user entered. So we'll take in the file name, and then we also want to take in the current directory that they're on. And we want to do the same thing that we did in this file, where we kind of adjust any kind of relative path to an absolute path. So I'll just copy that in and replace this with dir. And then just as a little check, we want to make sure that the file does not already exist, but first we have to combine the directory with the file to get the full path of where this where this file slash folder is going to end up. Once we do that, we can check if the file exists using the file exists function. And if it does exist, we're just going to echo file exists. Otherwise, here we can actually go ahead and create our folder slash file. But first, we want to check if it should be a folder or a file. And to do this, we're going to see if the file name that the user entered has a dot in it. So basically, if, uh, if the name has an extension, we're going to assume it's a file. And to do this, we're going to use the string post function from PHP. And that's it. That's pretty simple. Pretty easy check here. Now, to create a file, we're going to use the touch function. And to create a folder, we're going to use the make dir function. Both of these will return a Boolean, so we can just use an if statement to see if they were successful. If they were successful, we'll just echo true. Otherwise, we can echo something along the lines of, this didn't work. And with all of that done, 
we should now be able to create files nice and easily with the click of a button. So let's go ahead and test this out. We click our button, we type in our file name, and we get a file. If we go ahead and do the same thing, but with no extension, we'll get a folder, and it looks like everything is working just fine. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. The file editor series is a little bit dead in my opinion. We didn't get too many likes or anything on our previous videos, so I didn't feel too motivated to make any more. But if you really are interested in something, please let us know, and we will try to make a video just for you. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.